To me, it's like taking a dream out of your head and putting it in the sky. There's nothing tangible there, but it's moving, it's dancing, it's changing. And every time you see it, it's, it's different. I'm Tom Kurz, I'm an astronomer and an author, and I've been chasing the Northern Lights for 15 years. I grew up in the north of Scotland. I can remember seeing the Northern Lights when I was way too young to understand what they were. I was obsessed. From a young age, I was dreaming about these lights that were somewhere out there over the sea to the north. It put a seed in my mind that I could never quite get away from. Auroras begin at the sun, like 90 million miles away. You have to have that solar wind, the particles from the sun, and you have to have the Earth's magnetic field, and you have to have the atmosphere above your head. And it's those three ingredients that make a visible expression of something we otherwise wouldn't be able to see. It was like mythology to me as a child. It was why I wanted to become an Arctic explorer. You can understand what causes auroras, but you will forget that when you're looking at them. Because you just end up completely absorbed in what you're seeing. Sort of unable to process it, really. The aurora is different every single time. So naturally it begs the question, is this as good as it gets? Because once you've had several nights of aurora view, you are an addict. You just haven't admitted it to yourself. There's more to it than what you see because everything around you, what you feel, what you hear, that's all part of the experience. It might be Arctic winds blasting in your face. It might be incredibly still and silent and all you can hear is the snow crunching beneath your feet. And it's important to feel it because otherwise it's no better than looking at a picture. The coastline of Norway is the best backdrop you could have for the Northern Lights. Islands, fjords, snow-capped mountains. Taking the ships up the coast is an incredible way to experience it because you feel like a polar explorer. To stand there on the ship and watch the landscape go by, knowing that you're making your way into the land of the Northern Lights, it takes it into the realm of, of an expedition. So many people come back because Norway have such an extraordinary range of places to see the Northern Lights and such an extraordinary range of skies, colours of skies, colours of seas, colours of mountains. I don't feel like I've even scratched the surface of what's possible to see in Norway. I could spend a lifetime coming back to one place.